This is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and I want to talk about this appearance here that Evan Rachel Wood made on Good Morning America. Now, they're pretty big. They're bigger than The View. They have about 3.7 million followers on Twitter, which ain't so bad. So they are a pretty major platform still. I'd consider them something like legacy media these days, but they're huge. Now, when I first started following this case, I thought, and correctly thought, this is something like Amber Heard, where she accuses Johnny and she wants some money and, well, she wants some acting roles. But I wasn't exactly sure how Evan Rachel Wood was going to try to squeeze acting roles out of this. And she might not, but I see how she's going to attempt to do it. So here's how it works. She accuses Marilyn Manson of this abuse. It's unproven. There's no tangible evidence, but that doesn't matter because The View, Good Morning America Now, HBO are willing to host her accusations. And then what happens? Well, people see that. And I don't mean fans. I don't mean us, the audience. Everyone's watching. CEOs, directors, producers, things like that. And what happens is those people check it out and they get reminded that Evan Rachel Wood is still alive and she's still in the business. And they say, hey, let's cast her. Look at her. There's some attention on her now. And it seems like that is the plan. So if you see Evan Rachel Wood in some movie unrelated to this, coincidentally, in 2023 or something like that, you got to think, would you have seen her in that movie if she didn't accuse Marilyn Manson? Or in that next TV show series, if she didn't accuse Marilyn Manson? Then you got to think, well, maybe that was her plan. Maybe she used this opportunity because she was with him in the past, and now she's putting herself out there so some eyes get on her and she gets a respark for her whittling career. Whittling away like a flower. I think I'm getting that right. Okay, anyway, let's talk about this actual appearance on Good Morning America. And I want to say, some people pointed out, she has similar demeanor to Amber Heard, where she's just not that sincere. It just doesn't seem like it's coming from the heart. It seems like it's kind of rehearsed, or not even rehearsed, but it's just that she's putting it out there, saying her piece, and again, like a commercial, she just wants to get the information out there, get her face out there, and she's not concerned about exactly what she's saying, just that she is saying something on The View and Good Morning America and HBO. Here's a tweet from Dr. Soup who clipped this out, which was a pretty good thing to do. And, like I was saying, she's got similar demeanor to Amber there. Amber isn't all authentic genuine and heartfelt. Evan Rachel Wood is the same way. She has a very bland way of describing things. There's no genuine tears. There's no genuine emotion. She wants to get it over with so she can move on and get something out of it. And she already is. Appearance on The View, HBO, Good Morning America, millions and millions of followers for all those venues. Well, The View's got a little under a million or something like that. But anyway, altogether, it's a huge boost and a huge piece of promotion, in a way. So then, they do read Marilyn Manson's Instagram response to the situation where he said, and I'll paraphrase, this was consensual. Everything I did with everyone I've been with was consensual. And Evan Rachel Wood says that was not about sex. She says, like... He was alluding to the fact that that was about sex, and I'm pretty sure it was, because that's the whole heart of the matter here, is sexual relationships with a partner and the accusations you're abusing them. But anyway, that's just her opinion and speculation, and she's not an official source on what he means with his words, only he is. And then she directly asks Evan Rachel Wood, you said he R-worded you, made you drink his blood. And let's take a look at Evan Rachel Wood's response. I'm not playing this full clip for copyright reasons and things like that, but let's take a look at this little response to the question. Cut you, beat you, forced you to drink his blood, all without your consent. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I'm not convinced. Anyway, that's all I got for now. My main point I want to drive home is this gets out to a lot of people and not the audience, not fans. I mean people behind the scenes who can look at her and remember who she is and say, oh, that's too bad. She got abused. Let's hire her for an acting role. So I think that's the master plan to respark the career. I'm doing Depp vs. Heard, Manson, pop culture. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you consider it and don't subscribe, well, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.